Hello everyone, it's Love here and today we are playing Jeskai but with a very different version because the main engine for the deck is Mana Form Hellkite, card that was used for some time and right now you don't see it anywhere but it is extremely explosive and you will see it in the games. I, be, I promise you the Leafhals will be pretty epic and yeah, let's go into games, it will be easier when you see it so have fun guys. Because we are on the play it doesn't hurt as much. Well, this is not perfect, but if they use ramp, we can counter whatever they will try to play. And then we go to turn 4, and then we have our cool plays. So no, we will get there. Oh, 2 damage? Absolutely, my friend. Enjoy. I mean, it's not like there is a choice. This is absolutely horrifying. I mean, horrifying. I mean, this is pretty good, right? The fact that we get something in the board and we get rid of the ramp, so they don't have 4-drop, four, four I think. They might have double Glissa, by the way. But normally they would just ramp. Oh man, that's perfect. They kinda whiffed full turn and all they did is just negate part of our card. Uh, so do we go with the Hellkite? I think we go Memory Deluge and try to protect it a little bit. I know it's cool play, but you want, you know, to stack it a little bit. All right, double art. Uh, they have a lot of lands, sure, but they only have three cards. I wonder if that's a Shikeki deck. Doesn't super feel like it yet, but the ramp makes me think a little bit. Let's go for Deluge. Let's get some value. Oh boy. Here's the value. That's a weird one, but we'll take it. We will take it. Do you, do you think they have double edict? Like, no way, right? This is just creatures, if I remember. So we could go Hellkite and Iron Crack and we get some free damage. But then we cannot protect it. And on the next turn we could... So, man, this will be weird ordering. Don't hate me for it, alright? <laughs> oh no, but I won't have enough mana anyway, right? Because I've, I will have one... One blue mana, so I, I cannot do it anyway. A, a little bit of shame. Alright. So let's make sure that we get some value if Chandra dies to another Edict. I hope they don't have it, but you know, you, you can never know. They generally don't have too many. Ren. Alright, I'll take it. A Planeswalker War. Pretty interesting. Uh, fortunately, we are really good at magic and we... Okay, never mind. Let's go with this first. I should probably get the mana into pool first, uh, in case he kills something, you know? This is uncounterable, so if they have blue mana, it doesn't matter. And now let's play this. And now the question. Uh, let's see the reaction. <laughs> oh, you want to kill it? Oh, that's so nice. It would be such a shame if it phased out. Okay, we did our full plan. And now we can target the second creature. And you know what? I will target it twice, so he gets less map tokens. I don't care about this 2 damage too much. I don't think he has removal. Yeah, I saw no priority, so I didn't need to overinvest the damage. I mean, that's a pretty good turn, <laughs> I'll tell you man, that was a pretty decent turn. He needs to answer this, which is phased out. He... That's a Toxir, that's a Toxir. The Toxir is exploring the land. <laughs> now I've seen everything. And imagine you're exploring the wilds and there's Toxir that also explores with you. Just together. So we play lands, that's for sure. We can try to fish for removal on Toxir. Or we can just double farewell and go for insanity, but then we exile our own stuff, so probably not. Let's exile cards. I could also minus, you know, a lot, but that doesn't 
sound like a good idea. Alright, there will be... Oh man, this is so good. And can you please tap correctly, my friend? Thank you. Man, I would get wrecked by auto tapper right now. Okay, this is pretty good. And now we kill the Tuxer. Man, that was a good turn, wasn't it? Uh, let's get rid of this. Alright, that is a pretty decent attack. Man, those tokens look amazing. I really like them. Alright, oh, he's at 6, so he dies to Chandra next turn. Well, that was that was pretty good showcase, and our opponent is a pretty high-ranked mythic, so that was nice. Alright, we're going first, let's see it. I kinda like this hand. Uh, do we want to show priority? Let's go like this for now. I don't think we need to show the priority. Uh, this is a very perfect draw. Okay, I think with this draw we are in extremely good spot. Uh, I'll be honest, guys, I think we won. And I'm not joking, like, this is a win. Uh, because we are, we are getting so ahead of him. I think, okay, it's not fully over because he has robbery. Robbery is the only thing that might get us. And we probably need to protect our dragons very well. Alright, Liliana. So, he will attack both hands. Uh, I will discard Sanford because if he plays this, he won't play a creature. And we should have enough cardo that we can survive. Hmm. That's a weird one. I need double red. And I don't have it. <laughs> I don't have it. Uh, the iron crack is pretty bad here. We need blue mana probably. Well, not really, but maybe later. And I will discard the iron crack. It, it's not great to have Liliana on board, but you know. It is what it is, and I wanted to uh, cast the uh, mana form on this turn, but I just didn't have the mana. It. So it was rough, it was rough. Listen, on the bright side, he never expects it. <laughs> There's no way he expects it ever. Because he doesn't even... S okay, may maybe he, he knows about Big Scar. He will hit Big Scar, right? Because I highlighted it? No, Sun Form, alright. Alright. I mean, I can kill Liliana. Man, this is a weird draw. It started good, but now it's, it's kinda weird. So I think I will try to get into sleep out the back, right, on Liliana minus two. And then we see from there. The problem is that the token will die. Hmm. I kind of have to do it, right? I still lose the token, so it's not perfect. I think, okay, good. I, I thought they have to. So that will be a lot. However, we don't have uh, spells anymore. Liliana definitely trained us super hard. And I think we won't have the, the counter, right? Because it's already phased out. I always sacrifice this guy. You know, like it matters. That's weird. Like, this would die at then step, I'm not sure if he knows about it. Maybe he just wanted to get the backside, but you can just hard cast it. You do, like, I guess he wanted 3 damage. However, this is a huge problem. I mean, this is a huge problem. I cannot cast it, so the only play we can make is this. <laughs> Maybe we draw something, right? Okay, I mean it's better, but it's not. Man, man, we are we are getting super behind right now. Maybe in the end we won't win. I have to go back on my wars right now. Oh no, Lord Skeeter. Liliana absolutely was uh, super harsh against our deck. Even though it hit, man, especially with this kind of draws.
I cannot double spell, but we have to go like this. I will probably keep this in the hand. We don't know if they have removal or just demolition fields. And I mean we can start attacking. Maybe we can raise him. One good draw and we can absolutely raise him. I mean, theoretically, maybe I should play the land, but it's very hard to know. Let's see the live game. No. I mean, it's not the worst. So they want to get Lord Skitter back, but they will get it anyway, so I prevent the maximum damage. But it's a good attack for them. Uh, can I please not draw like this? I really need something that is not a land right now. Okay, this is the card. A bit late. A bit late. So it's what? So two, four, five. That means ten. Alright, we will try man. I'm not sure if that will be enough, but we will try. Pro like one, one removal gets our plan out of the beam. Oh right, but they attack. Never mind, never mind. I forgot they attack twice. <laughs> Good job, sir. So this can be guaranteed 5 damage. And okay, so I think Silver Scruton is out. Which is super, super weird. We play Chandra, we create 2 6 6 and then we minus 5. Alright, the same but with like cut the cut in half oh, everything. And we are still doing it. So they will definitely Oh Man, that's actually smart, right? Because they know that on board I don't have Leafar. However, they they are dead to a lot of top decks right now. So it's interesting. And we can draw more cards with Celesto, so they kinda gambled the whole game right now. And I what do I have for flashback? I have memory deluge. So I think it's it's worth to draw a card. But well, that was not a good card. I'm sorry, what happened? Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Four, five. Okay, they gambled and they lost. That was a, a weird play. I thought they will minus two, because that should, you know, be better for them. Okay, I appreciate it, man. And of course, we swing call. Told you, we won. <laughs> like, never didn't have it, no doubts in my mind. All right, that was that was way closer than I expected. Liliana absolutely created the whole game, man. All right, our opponent goes first. We have a lot of helixes, so let's see what type of aggro we are meeting today. And what's going on on the other side? Of course, it's Jace Avatar with blue cards because that's the biggest part of the strand. It, it actually cracks me up because the Avatar choosing and the sleeves is basically the most impactful part of driving this deck. Because the rest is so easy, <laughs> like the deck dry, drives itself. No celebration. Uh, let's get them to attack in case there's smite, fear. Of course there is not. So what they did this game? They played three lands and three creatures at increasing cost. That's it. Some cool gameplay. <laughs> Man, I still cannot believe Monoret is popular at all like i i would expect it to be popular in like you know uh players that start the game uh, but not after you know some time like sure we kill it you don't get your monsters rage is that enough i'm not sure it's tempting to go for doubling with iteration but i'm getting so much damage that i don't think it's super worth it and I probably should get other targets for iteration during this game. Oh wow. Also Godric. Very cool. Cool. I play my card. Let's see who has the better card. <laughs> well. One of us, that's for sure. The problem is that we cannot block with uh, Halkai probably. Yep, they just go full swing. Uh, do we take it? Four damage. 
I think we kinda should. It's not perfect, but probably not what they wanted. They usually always expect you to block and they feel smart about casting their one spell from the hand. Uh, so now we have open march, which will make doing stuff much more easy. Alright, and we can use galvanic iteration to create some tokens or just quick stud. Or just quick stud. It's not very efficient, but we need to go there. Right now they have a picker. If they attack, we can create creatures for free and trade against his permanent creatures. He can pump Foundry to 4-4 if he knows how the card works. And that would add a lot of pressure. Alright, that's good for us. So, I think we go first quick study and then we paint ourselves, unfortunately. But that will create some tokens and that should help. So I will try to trade against Godric. The pain is not great, but you know, it is what it is. Alright, we can get those free creatures to hopefully do some work. I'll be honest, I'm not sure if he transforms the... F okay, he's doing something else. Alright. I'm not sure if that triggers celebration and I don't want to highlight the card right now. Uh, we definitely need to block right now to mitigate some of the damage. We still block this because, uh, it, you know, it's it's definitely not worse than the Swift Spear. Our opponent has priority. It might take him a while to realize it. He's probably not really watching the screen. You know, that's how <laughs> we play Magic right now, just forgetting about the game during the game. Oh, they clicked it. Cool. All right, we have the Hellkite. He's out of the cards and we have a lot of possibilities. So, it's not all the worst. So, I don't need to play the Emperor, I believe. I can play a lot of stuff at the end step, so I think it should be okay if I just pass the turn. Alright, so this will draw a card and probably trigger Celebration. Yep very clever wording on this one so you basically draw a card as a red deck frenzy again wow that's some good top decking skills good job bro good job we could galvanic iteration just for the token and you know what? I'm I'm so glad he's not even trying to use the Misha's founder because he forgot he has this in the in even in the deck. That it does something. <laughs> we cannot get it above 5-5, five, five, right? And this deals for five damage. So we are not doubling the Emperor, but we are still creating more creatures. And that's pretty good. Because then we get good traits and we go from there. Anyone who harms my people must contend with me. I won the life gain and we trade perfectly against the rest as well. Alright, so you know, we got some value. Uh, Misha's founder will be a problem, so we need to find more answers. Our opponent is kinda melting a little bit with all the interactions. Good job. You did it. You transformed it after the combat phase. I just want to point out this is mythic. Our monorad friend is slowly learning what his deck does. Because it's too complicated. Monoret is just too complicated. Uh, so hopefully he doesn't know how to pump those. <laughs> but he, sh he really should. I could go quick stud and still have a counter spell. I will need to pay life for it. So that's not perfect, but we should draw something. Alright, so we are just going Hellkite. This sets up the next turn way better. 
And it kinda does the same as a counter spell most of the time. Alright, one card. An infinite sea of possibilities. Wow, this one was hard to play. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to roast it. Like, come on. Like, what are we doing here? This is mythic. Uh, he doesn't realize how the card works still. He needs more mana than one. Well, that's some nice... Man, this is this is legit mythic player. It's insane. So, uh, we can go three cards. So, we can draw four. I mean, I think we just go for this. Uh, it's five, right? Three, five. That will be a, a lot of damage and probably a land. So that will mean that on the next turn we probably win. Because we can absolutely deal 13. So, we have a very good blocker. He has only one top deck and he needs to deal 7 damage with it. A chick will definitely... Oh, guys, I think he's learning. I think he now knows how the card works. Oh, no, no, no. He, he still attacks. <laughs> Like, come on, man. Like, do I... Do, am I too harsh on this? Like, what was this? Uh, but for example, if we're against slower deck like Control, with Negate, we can be pretty well here, you know? We probably need to think about resolving Chandra. So we probably need to fight about, you know... Oh no, that's the one. We can get lost the Mindbreaker, so that's not the worst. They always hit, right? Yep, they always hit. Alright, not perfect. Definitely not perfect. And we are pretty slow, so it will take us a while to get going. Three. Like, we need a lot of mana, man. Silver Scrutiny for two is not amazing. It, it might be something that is worth doing, Honk. Uh, and if they don't play anything, I probably won't play anything as well for now. A decent draw. A decent draw. However, we probably won't be able to cast it. Sure. Hopefully they don't get another one. I would really love to have one in the graveyard for now. Like, you can draw it later, and discard it later, but just don't do it now, because that's a lot of pressure. Alright, one we can answer quite easily, actually. Land, Mindbreaker. <laughs> they need to know. Yep, for mana. Uh, so Emperor is, of course, not very good against this. I think they should just go for it. We have the answer, so it's fine for us, uh, but, you know... All right, my turn. Land? Listen, it can be a land. Please land. Well, that w that is probably a good game. <laughs> well, the whole plan absolutely fizzled. Man, three draws, no land. Like, we are desperate to hit lands every turn for like three or four turns. Like, our deck relies on having a lot of mana. So right now they can do everything, and the whole point was that I will draw a land and then I can negate, so I didn't lose the turn and I still developed. I could also draw land naturally and pass the turn. Uh, so we are super behind our opponent, of course, hitting lands with no problem. He's just looking at us like, bro, what are you doing? E drawing lands is easy, you just take a card from the top and it's a land. Easy. Uh, to be honest, it's really... Oh no, Jace. But you know what? It's really good that the the only th thing they got is the Anchorage. The problem is that it will grow a lot and it will be a problem. And how, what do I need to do to hit the land? I have to go like this, man. This is my land right now. It's pretty horrible because our value is infinite. Man, I can spend like 50 mana right now, easily. And fortunately our opponent is just, you know, throwing cards that he drew. Man, Jace is your prime card. It's the best card of the whole deck. You don't waste it. But it won't matter if I draw like this, man. Man, like, I'm stuck on those four lands since three turns or four. 
This is absolutely brutal. If they have counter spell, I lose the game right now. I don't care, man. I need to start doing those cards. One land. Man! It feels like I'm playing five lands in the whole deck. Uh, time to start discarding. Oh boy, this is rough because I cannot play my game plan with this. Farewell. Probably not very impactful. It might be good card, but at this point the game is going so wrong that, you know, I'm just like, whatever. Okay, if they invest everything into Anchorage, that's uh, not a winning play. And we can absolutely go around it. He also threw away the win con. Uh, he kind of threw away both win cons, to be honest. Uh, because he never tries to even protect them. And finally, Celestus might start winning me this game. Please, Lance. Do I play Lance in this game? Holy moly, where are the lands? Like, what's going on, man? Like, I'm actually fighting against Shuffler and my opponent is just a spectator. Uh, well, this is this is insane. I'm just discarding value because I need those lands, man. This is pretty important, I need to resolve it. So I think I give him next map token. Well, this goes to Graveyard. Well, that's insanely good. And because we are not playing Magic since 4 turns, uh, our opponent basically has free reign over the game because we are fighting the Shuffler and he can just, you know, try to st steal the kill and pretend he, he did the job. Alright, he tapped nearly everything, that's perfect. Man, this guy makes basically all mistakes he could ever do. And it might not be enough because Shuffler is the, the real enemy here. Like, honestly, that was as many mistakes. Man, I'm still not hitting them. I think at this point I need to give up. I cannot counter it. And I cannot kill it. Man, we are in such a horrible spot for no reason. So 4 mana. I think I need to start playing this. Man, I'm literally pulling my hair right now. Alright, alright. Man, this this game was brutal. Like, nothing is going how we want. Like, you know, it feels like I'm, I'm just saying those things, but I literally cannot play the whole strategy. Because every turn, instead of holding priority, just being smart about my plays, I, I just need to tap everything be absolutely not prepared and just try to hit a land and that's my whole game plan right now i'm trying to use all my resources to do what this guy does for free i'm just, i just cannot believe this though can i draw a land please no land please oh my god oh my god i drew a land i can actually think about playing game right now all right, all right. I can go for three, six, or double four. I can swing for 12. Or I can go Chandra. All right, we don't have great cards. We need to filter all this card though that cl is clogging our hands since forever. So I think we go for this right now. I know I'm not attacking with all the you know tokens that we'll make. But we can use them on the next turn. So even if it dies, we still get them. Unless they kill it now. But that means he's fully tapped. Alright, 4 damage, and we pass the turn. We also filter one of the cards, which can be handy. It's their turn. And they keep the mana. All right, so if they go for the Mindbreaker, uh, they need to tap fully. And that means that possibly we can kill him on the next turn. And if I win this with this draw, it's just insane. I will definitely cycle. It's not legendary, right? I kind of want this as cheap as possible because it's more damage. Playing this is probably too slow. Man. 
Is it non-creature? Non-creature. So Emperor works as well. I don't think we have more time for this. Alright, I'm risking it. Because if I play something, it could just be the Emperor, right? Or double scrutin at the end step. The life gain is good for them, but okay, so we try we we need to try to go for the maximum damage. Four on the Hellkite. And then the Emperor or something. Alright, so we go for two, three, and two. So six damage. And a lot of cards. Yeah, I'll go with it. We also flip. Alright, guys, we are fixing it. Sorry for the long thing, but we are in such a bad position that I really need to think about those plays because we don't have much time. Okay, those are good cards. We are finally recovering from this early game. This is what the deck is supposed to do. Alright, so we have what? 7, 11. 11. We need to be smart about it. I kinda want to start with the Hellkite, right? So let's go. We have Valorous Stance, so that's great. Uh, we have what? 4 mana. So we go big score, then they target something. And then we respond with sleep uh, out the back. And we definitely don't need double chandra right now. Alright, we are, we are popping off, man. The start was absolutely rough, but we are getting there. Alright, and we still have one for sleep out the back. I need maximum damage. Okay, how, how much is it? Uh, 7, 11, 15, 19. So I need more. I think they have something. But I need to try. And I have Chandra on the next turn to finish uh, the lethal if, you know, if he doesn't do anything. Also, this is protected. All right, guys. I think we did the thing. <laughs> I think we did the thing. Uh, there are no three trees. Is that enough? No, it's not. But it should be enough on the next turn. Unless he can mill me fully. Yeah, I, I'm a Jace, so I think I will lose. Yep, they're going for this and Jace. Uh, I mean, the bad draw got me. Uh, we are so behind that we could do it like six turns earlier. And you can see that the effect is insane, and that now they will play Jace. Alright, not giving the satisfaction. So guys, so guys, let's talk about the deck. I have to say that Mana Form Hellkite is the card that really caught me off guard. I've been playing with it a long, long time ago, but man, the value you are getting is just insane. Like, <laughs> 17 damage out of nowhere is very easy for this one. And don't forget, you can... I didn't do it perfectly always, but generally you can play, you know, at during the end step, all right? Not at the beginning, but during the end step. That means that the token stays for your next turn. This is super important because this is how you get this insane scaling. You basically combine end step play and main phase play and then go for like 15 mana of creatures, you know, this kind of stuff. So mana from Hellkite, definitely some potential here. Uh, for I like the I like the build. I think it's interesting. Uh, by the way, it's from one of the tournaments. This is just sky list. The only just sky list I have found that is interesting, to be honest, because it's always like you know the standard decks all around. But this one was different, and when I saw it, it was like yeah, we need to, we need to try it. And with uh, sleep the back and march you have like two protection spells here and valorous stance which of course doubles as a removal so totally you have like 
two or three slots invested into the protecting uh, on top of negate and protocol, but they're all versatile, right? So yeah, you don't invest too much and it really feels like this is protected during most of the games. You have seen that I could make double protection very often. So yeah, that makes all the difference because this is your main creature in the whole deck. Chandra was performing nicely. Uh, we didn't have perfect situation to showcase it but the fact that chandra can plus two is insane because you pay six mana you get six six possibly multiples and you get two mana back this is the same with big score the same with uh, celestus the same with iron crack you play spells but you get part of the mana back and this is what makes the deck so explosive because you can start chaining those especially if you have chandra you plus two then you cast big score that gets doubled then you play uh, uh, celestus iron Cry. like you can deal so much damage in one turn I, I think that's something that makes the deck super fun like everyone likes those huge hasty lethals you know I, man i'm a control mage and i really enjoyed it and on, don't forget that helix can also target face we didn't use it today but you can and with garvanic iteration you can basically use two helixes for what 12 damage to the face which makes uh, hellkite and chandra very easy lethals so yeah i really like the deck it's something different it's not a full control like you don't play it as a normal control but it has control elements and the combo is super fun so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it <laughs> this video to be honest took quite a lot of work so yeah I, I hope you just had a great fun tell me in the comments and yeah thank you just thank you for being here and see you tomorrow.